Post game after game one of the Mustang Lacrosse Classic, along with uh, Bates head coach uh, Dan Anino. And Dan, you guys didn't end up on the winning side of this, but you really have to be proud of your squad, a young squad that I thought played all 60 minutes today. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think uh, this was probably our most complete game. I think we played about 50 really, really good minutes, and, and we kind of got away from us for about 10. And, and when you play a good team, like they'll make you pay for it. But um, I'm really proud. I think it was our best defensive game for sure, and I think we had some really good performances on the offensive end too. I want to talk a little bit about Denzel Evans. The young man here from Baltimore was kind of a homecoming for him. Prepped at Curly. You told me in the week before the game, a little water bug, you know, very versatile, does a lot of things. He showed that today. Yeah, I mean, Denzel is, is exceptional. I I mean, he's an exceptional lacrosse player, but he's also a tremendous, tremendous young man and leader, even as a sophomore for us. And, um, you know, I think him having the performance he did here in Baltimore is, was obviously pretty special and, and well earned on his part. Overall, I thought the turnovers kind of hurt you in the first quarter a little bit. They kind of set that tone. So, and you told me in the week that you value possessions. Yeah. This is a fairly slow paced team. So tell me what you were thinking after that first quarter. Yeah, I think we, we were just gripping the sticks a little tight. Um, Obviously, a, a venue like this, an event like this, you feel like you're on the big stage because you are. Um, and I think we, we were just gripping the sticks a little bit tight. But as we settled in there, and I think we put together a really good second quarter, a really good third quarter where we limited those. Um, but those certainly, you know, put us behind a little bit. You told me that, you know, you graduated from Amherst, so you coached against your alma mater. You played in one of the first Mustang lacrosse classics here. How do you feel coming back now and as your career continues to advance? Yeah, I mean, this is a, a really special event and obviously one I'm, I'm familiar with. First time in this role, first time mm -hmm. doing one of these interviews. But, um, you know, it was definitely special playing playing that group of guys and um, obviously a group of seniors, a group of juniors that I have a relationship with and um, was was really proud of that that effort and, and was really happy to be able to give those guys a hug after the game and, and say congrats. Finally, what do you tell your team? You've got a quick turnaround. Everybody does this weekend. You play two and two. Well, hey, that's the beautiful thing about this event is, you know, um, you get to wash the sour taste out of your mouth pretty quick because we got to turn around um, in about exactly 24 hours and, um, you know, get ready for a really good St. Lawrence team. Bates College head coach Dan Anino. I'm Gary Stein. This is GoMustangSports.tv.